Editing Joe here. Um, I recorded this originally and I didn't like how it came out, so I'm going to chop it up a little bit. I apologize for that. And I apologize for this webcam. Do not buy this whatever Chinese cam this is. It's terrible. I'm moving back to my Logitech. Because um, it's just freaking out. Hold on a second. So back to the Logitech C720, I guess. I've had this thing for like 10 years. Um, yeah, whatever brand this is, I don't even remember some Chinese knockoff. What? Don't buy these. These are garbage. Even though it has a, you know, a, a hole on it and whatnot, I thought it'd be a good camera. Wasted 20 bucks. So, I guess you learn, right? But anyway, for OpenSUSE, I wanted to keep this pretty simple. It's a distribution, it's a rolling release, and it kind of just works. Like, it's nothing crazy. You know, if I go down here, and yeah, I've got 200 updates. I can just push a button and install them. Uh, you can't see because of my fat face, but still, it kind of just works. And if you like rolling releases, by all means, I never felt this thing was super cumbersome or whatnot. Even though I stopped updating it for a few weeks, everything just kind of works. Um, if I had a little bit better GUI support, I probably would daily drive this. This is not bad. Unfortunately, I don't daily drive it. Um, largely, I don't care that much for KDE Plasma. Granted, if I do have a spare drive in a system, I might keep a version of Tumbleweed going for a while. Um, I, once they launch it, I might be into slow roll with my internet here. Slow roll might be a little bit better idea for me. And there are worse things than Plasma, so I, ca I could see myself doing it. I might be one of those weird guys that try to do Mate, because you know, Mate is not a bad desktop environment. Um, I didn't get that far into Wayland. I, I, I will freely admit that KDE's Wayland is really buggy. I had a lot of issues um, with apps just not responding correctly and just weird bugs and issues. Um, it's not there yet. We're getting there, but it's not there yet. So, but it is good. I mean, everything's worked pretty well, and it's been a smooth experience. Now, this is where I get to have fun in telling you that my wife wants to troll me. She's also been paying attention to me doing this series, and now she'd like me to suffer a little bit because OpenSUSE was too easy. So now she, like I had many suggestions in the Nate's Discord server, Matt's Discord server, um, several, and, and I'll get around to all of them eventually. I had suggestions to do, uh, I don't have the list here, but I had, I had suggestions to do Beyond OpenSUSE. Um, my wife wants me to do some form of arch because she wants me to suffer. And also it's good for comedic relief. Um, so now we're going to sit and do uh, Manjaro Linux because it's one of the ones that gets the most hate and the most ridicule out of all the Linux distros. So I'm going to do that. Then after that 30 day challenge is over, Silent Bob in the Discord asked for Slackware. I'll do Slackware. And I'm going to try to differentiate stuff up um, because I don't want to do the same desktop environment every single time. That's that's literally boring. Power this thing off here. So I'm going to turn around and do XFCE on Manjaro and we'll see how that goes. We'll do that for 30 days. Um, I am going to give myself the caveat, much like with OpenSUSE, I am allowed to reinstall if something catastrophically goes wrong. Um, just, just be aware of that. The other half of the coin is Slackware. Um, I'm going to try, maybe I'll go back to KDE, maybe if I can do Mate or one of the other desktop environments. We'll see what Slackware has to offer. Um, I like using a lot of these distros as they come, um, which for Manjaro is KDE Plasma. So that's their default, and so that's probably how I'm going to use them too, um, as much as I'm thrilled to use KDE again. It, 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 there are worse things in world, this world, okay? So, so for that, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. And then after Slackware, we've got coming up 
I'll probably do Elementary OS. That's one that I've had a lot of personal beefs with, um, more than just the chaotic development history, but there's just a lot of things the distro could do better. And I want to deep dive and to actually like understand from a deep perspective what makes the distro good and what makes the distro bad. Um, and why I don't recommend it to people because of some of the chaotic history behind it. Um, beyond that, for now, I'm going to focus on getting myself a Manjaro ISO, which requires me to go elsewhere because my internet sucks. Um, but beyond that, I guess I'll be looking into Arch-related things for a while. Um, I've used Endeavor OS before. It's probably what I'd recommend if you don't do pure Arch. Um, it's kind of Arch with some sane defaults. It's not totally set up for you, and they do expect you to use command line, but it is at least good enough with an installer to get things done. It's probably the le least amount of suffering with Arch that I've ever had, Manjaro being the highest level of suffering I've ever had with a distro. So I guess we'll see. You guys will see in the coming months what that'll turn into. Um, I've got a couple device reviews I want to get done out. Um, I potentially have a Chromebook on the way. That'll be fun to do Mr. Chromebox firmware shenanigans with uh, open firmware. So look forward to that as well. Um, and if you like the video, like the video. Um, if you want to see some different content on the channel or if you have any suggestions below, let me know. Um, I, I'll probably put up a community poll at some point as to of all these distros, what to do next. Manjaro has to be done. My wife wants me to use it. But after that, the order I do the other ones in, you know, I'll have suggestions there. So cheers, guys. I hope you have a good day.